Hey there, Saints. Pastor Dave here with another weekly devotional for you this Wednesday. I'm going to start with another reading from Sarah Arthur's One Year Daily Grind, and this one's about imitation. What would Jesus do? That's a question we're taught to ask ourselves in any given situation, because Jesus is our ultimate example. And on a certain level, it's an important question because it trains us to pause and think before we act. But the problem is we're so disconnected from Jesus most of the time that we actually have to pause and think. Our instincts are all messed up. Society has conditioned us to follow our naturally self-obsessive habits to the point that a Christ-like response doesn't even register on our behavioral radars. But the goal of the Christian life isn't simply to acknowledge that Jesus died for our sins so we can go to heaven. The goal of the Christian life is to gradually transform our very beings so that we instinctively act and think and talk like Jesus. We spend so much time with him and with his people that we no longer have to stop and ask ourselves, what would Jesus do? We simply do it. We put on our own petty differences and preferences and small desires aside so Jesus can shine through us. The Apostle Paul wrote, Imitate God, therefore, in everything you do, because you are his dear children. That verse calls to mind a young child who wants to be big and strong, just like Dad. I picture a toddler wanting to use grown-up-sized spoons and eat at the table like everyone else. Or a little girl clomping around in her mommy's shoes and holding a cell phone to her ear. Paul is saying we should imitate God in this way. God is our hero, our parent, our favorite person in the whole wide world. We should want to be just like him when we grow up. Saints, I, I definitely relate to that image of the child clomping around in their parents' shoes. Charlotte does that all the time, uh, my eight-year-old daughter, and she loves to put on mom's clothes and act like mom. Now, psychologists tell us that this is actually uh, part of growing up. This is, this is one of our mental tools that we use to mature, is, is imitation, is acting like someone else who we admire and trying on their life, trying on their habits, doing the things that we see them doing, seeing if that works for us, if that you know, speaks to us about who we want to be and what we want to do. I think that it's a great image for us to continue to imagine who we are in Christ, how we behave, how we talk, how we act, uh, that, that what would Jesus do question. Uh, it's one that I grew up being, being uh, prompted to think about. Um, and I even had one of those WWJD bracelets for a number of years in high school. Uh, but one of my friends from youth group once said that a better way to uh, use that acronym would be walk with Jesus daily. Walk with Jesus daily. Because if we do that, if we follow after Jesus, if we pattern our lives after him and, and continually stay close to him, just as Sarah is talking about, we get better at imitating him without having to think about it, without having to stop and ask the question of ourselves, how would Jesus respond to this? The closer we are to him, the more time we spend with him, the easier it becomes for us to do like he would do, even without thinking about it. And that really is the goal. I think it was a great point that she brought up that it's, it's, our faith is not about uh, having our sin forgiven, going to heaven, you know, that's certainly part of what Christianity means, but the bigger, much bigger part of it is training us to become more like our Savior, more like our Shepherd. So our goal is really to imitate Christ, and we do that, again, by observing Christ as we pay attention to the way he interacts with people, as we pay attention to the way that he makes time for God, we pay attention to his generosity and to his concern for the oppressed and to his ability to separate himself from the, the hot button issues and to really focus on the things that matter. How about we try to imitate Christ and walk with him daily rather than just think about it from time to time? You know, what would Jesus do? 
That's your devotional this week, Saints. I hope it's helpful and worth thinking about. I hope you're doing all right and staying healthy. And I'll be praying for you. Please keep praying for me. I'll see you again. Take care, Saints.